around here thing over four months. And so I honestly didn't anticipate to make a video of the haul that I got because I didn't think it was going to be a haul. So I'm very excited to show you. I forgot to mention that all these items total to be around like 70 bucks, but definitely worth it. Every single dime. Maybe not Tammy. Okay. Well, you don't have Tammy's in like three seconds. Let's call her Tammy. Um, Tammy over here is very soft, very nice. A little bit of a knit, a stretch. She has that high neck going on. I don't really wear high necks, so that's why I grabbed her because I thought, you know what? Might as well wear something that I normally don't wear. Um, and that was the problem. I'm probably not gonna wear it. So here's Tammy over here. And she'll be useful to wear like under like spaghetti strap tops or dresses or whatever. So, you know, she'll be useful one day. I believe in it. The second one is a trend that I've been seeing a lot. It's those cropped collar shirts. They're kind of expensive though, but I saw this one at the thrift store and I thought, why not get it, you know? So this is for free people. Well, free people is very expensive. So I thought might as well just get it in a very discounted price. Let's call her Anne. I could just use it as a cardigan. So I got this one for the versatility of it all. Um, Anne really went through with that. She's the reason why I'm up in trends. So that's Anne. Okay, so those are like the safe bets. Okay, now these, get really into it now. This one, my mother almost roasted me on. Um, she did not see the vision in this one that I picked out. Um, I don't see why. So this originally came with like legit curly fries of like white lace. It just was really weird, but I um, substituted it with like the brown lace thing. And this shirt is from Jubilee. It's a children's store. Um, this store definitely went hard. Um, it smacked and went ape shit on this. Um, Jubilee is that bitch. So I love the colors and it has a little bit of a shimmer to it. So I'm very much impressed with this one. I definitely give this one like an eight out of 10 um, or seven out of 10. So that's um, Samantha, let's call her Sammy. Oh, now this one, my favorite shirt of all. This originally fitted me very loose. So I showed this one to my mom as well. She's like, mm, I don't know, I'm not really seeing it. Not really, she, she doesn't see it. She doubts me even now and I don't know why. So I decided to make it a smaller shirt. So of course I did and of course I cropped it. And I made it more form fitting most definitely. And then I lifted the beads up a little bit from the shoulders. But now you got yourself a cropped beaded back. It looks very, very pretty. I'm very, very much impressed. I very much love this one so much. This one goes with a lot. I would definitely wear it all the time. So those are all my shirts. Oh wait, I forgot to mention. This shirt right here that I'm wearing is also one that I got from this luxurious haul. It was originally a plain white shirt from like Old Navy or whatever that I got at the thrift store and it had like these like silver hoop thingies which I really, really like, that's why I got it. My mom picked it out for me. But I really wanted to embroider like something cute from the front because I got an embroidery kit. I've never embroidered before, so this is my first time doing it. That's why it doesn't look the best, but that's okay. So I got this idea from a TikTok. Um, I'll show the screenshot right here of this character. Um, I'm gonna put the name of the character right here somewhere. I wanted them to have like flowers in their hair or whatnot, and I found a perfect photo with the flowers in their hair. So what I did is I grabbed that photo, went over on the t-shirt with the pencil, and I just outlined it with embroidering. I did this. I'm not really good at embroidering, so I don't think you should really take my advice or my instructions on this, because I'm not that good. Probably why it came out kind of shitty. But I'm still wearing it because I like to humble myself. Still wear it proudly on myself. So there's this shirt right here. Um, that is. <laughs> We're just gonna jump along to the skirt. Yes, let's do the skirt. So this skirt right here, I'm very excited about. And thrift stores is not a lot of mini skirts, surprisingly, but this one is my size and my length, short as hell and I absolutely love it and it's stretchy. I absolutely love this one. Um, definitely 10 out of 10, recommend. It is so cute and it has pockets. Anyways. So this is um, definitely one of my favorite skirts by far. Let's call her Margaret right here. All right, for the next one is this skirt, it reminds me of early 2000s so bad, so you already know. It's a wrap skirt, but the, the colors I absolutely love. It's floral, who doesn't love floral? 
and it's brown as you can probably see and this one's a little bit too long for me which is kind of perfect because at my job there is dress code so this one um i could wear at work and when i'm out and about actually living my life and not blacking out whenever i clock in i would give this one like a solid eight out of ten i unintentionally got a lot of earthy tones in this haul so what i'm thinking of doing at the very end of the video is showing you all the different outfits i can make with this haul alone just because of the color scheme and i've been making a lot of outfits with just this haul alone oh also i got this one right here i didn't put it in the bag so i didn't want it to get wrinkled it's this pleated skirt um it was originally very long um very private school strict on dress code type of long like way way over the fingertip length type of long and I definitely want it short in. I love plaid skirts but only if they're mini so that's what I did and this fabric is very like rich in structure and you can tell it feels really expensive so I didn't want to cut it so all I did was fold the flaps about like two inches in and then so my skirt can be like 15 inches or 16 inches long and then I just sewed the seams to it and then I re-ironed the, the pleats out as much as I can for like 30 minutes to an hour, which still didn't turn out that great as you can see from here at the finished product. It didn't come out the best, but that's okay. What I'm thinking of doing is just going to dry cleaners and then they replete it and then it would just look great. So there's that one. Now, my final two outfits of the day is the two deep DIYs that I did. Let's start off with the men's t-shirt DIY. I already made a video of how to make a strip flip, so I'm just pretty much gonna speed it up for, you know, time's sake. If you wanna see the video that, you know, goes deep inch by inch showing you how to make this strip flip, then I'll put a link right here, right here. So here's this one. But if you want the speedy version, then cue the voiceover. All right, so I want to make the skirt 15 inches long, so I'll be cutting 15 inches off of the men's shirt. Once that is done, I'm downsizing the jacket sleeves, so I'm pinning about two inches deep from the armpits. Now we sew. The sewing should look something like this. And we just cut off the excess fabric on both sides of the sleeves, and the only thing that remains is sewing the seams. I did a zigzag stitch on the very edge, and I love how that came out. Now onto the skirt. For the skirt, I have the waist be about 13 inches and the very bottom be about 20 inches. And we just connect the pins and sew. I'm trying a French seam with this skirt, so I cut off the excess fabric of this skirt and then flip it inside out and sew the edges again, but this time covering the original edge if that makes any sense. Once done, the edge should look something like this. You flip the skirt outside in once again and sew the seams once more and you're done. But for preference, I just added extra no-show buttons for security, but that part isn't needed. Okay, okay, now I'm done. <sighs> oh, thank God, I had blink. So this is how we came out. Um, this is the jacket, it's very nice. I love the green corduroy. It is very much that bitch currently. It reminds me of the 70s, but it looks very, very nice. And then here's the skirt. It's absolutely beautiful. I am in love with it. I know this will go very well with one of the tops that I just lifted. And you'll see at the end how I did that. So that is the two-piece corduroy. Okay, now for the final, final DIY, it's this one right here. This one was originally a long skirt and I honestly could have done a mini skirt. I could have done a midi skirt and really, you know, went up with the trends, you know, really looked kind of cute. But then I, lo I saw this photo of Alexis Demi. She was wearing this halter top with the ring in the middle and I really, really wanted that, but in velvet form. Um, as you can see here, these are my favorite thrift flips of all time, and it's coincidentally enough velvet. So I decided to do this, and I'm gonna show you like a speedy version of this thrift flip because I'm planning on making a really detailed video on how to make a halter top. So whenever I do, I'll just link it up here or whatnot. But as of right now, we're gonna do the speedy version. So cue the voiceover. For the skirt, I also cut off about 15 inches of fabric from the bottom. Once that's done, the waist will be about 13 inches, middle is about 18 and a half inches, and the bottom will be about 20 inches. Then we sew along the pin lines and cut off the excess fabric on the sides, and now we are done with the skirt. On to the halter top. For the halter top, I'm cutting the strip of fabric in half, about four inches each strip. Then I get the top strip and cut it in half again. Now that we got two shorter strips, I am cutting in half once more with each strip being about 10 and a half inches long. I then pin each pair of the rectangular fabric together to imitate the halter top's cups width. And I just sew on the pin lines there, so when I open up the rectangle, it's now the ideal size for the cups. I'm just cleaning up the edges a bit by folding it in to create a wide triangle, and once I get the shape I want, I put it in place and sew along the edges. 
As for the top, I left room there to be able to feed the straps later. Now that we got our triangles, I am sewing it onto the untouched strip of fabric from earlier. But first, I must seam rip that strip in half so I can feed the silver ring through it from both sides like so. Once I pin that in place, I add the cups to its designated spot and pin it in place as well. And then I hand sew all the areas that are pinned and it came out looking like this. With the last leftover fabric, I'll be making four straps that are skinny enough to be fed through the top of the halter top. I have succeeded, so now I'm connecting all the straps together to make a long continuous strap. As for the back, I folded it in a bit to get the desired length, then I sewed the edges on both sides. Once done with that, I added the no-show buttons, and now the Hulk top is complete. Oh my god, finally it's over! So this is the final result. So here is the skirt. Um, it's very, very nice, very um pretty. The bottom here really sells me. It's very beautiful, um, to say the least. I absolutely love the skirt to wear by itself or with the, the matching halter top. I love the ring halter top. It is so nice. The fabric feels so like luxurious and pretty. And what I love about velvet is that it never wrinkles, so you never have to worry about that. Um, we're gonna call it Sasha, because she is definitely a showstopper. Miss Sasha over here really knows how to start the party, how to get it going. Yeah, so these are all of my thrift flips. Um, from least to worst, I'd say Miss Tammy over here takes the cake for least. Um, nothing against her, you know, she's just, she's not really taking a lot of risks here. But she's still cute. And then the one that takes the absolute cake for um, being the baddest is definitely the velvet piece. I'm going to make the casket with this one right here. Okay, this outfit is one of my favorites. It reminds me of early 2000s and I've worn this one more times than I can count already. It's definitely my top two favorite outfits of the night. I really, really love this one because the green colors go so well together with the sparkly shirt I got. It really makes the shirt the centerpiece, if you know what I mean. So for this one, I couldn't find the right sweater to drape around my shoulders, but hopefully you see my vision in that. This outfit is cute and simple and I enjoy it a lot. I wear these with like Mary Janes or something. All the colors go so well together in this one too. The camouflage mini skirt brings the two colors from the top together, so I really like how the skirt acts as a centerpiece as well. Little Tammy found a home. I figured denim jumpsuits or dresses would be a great layering piece with the orange top, and the silk headband ties both of these colors together pretty well. I feel like I didn't do the two-piece justice with this cameo, but this is still my favorite. The two-piece came out exactly how I envisioned it, and I couldn't be more happy about that. I'd say overall this haul was a success, and of course we have some final words from my favorite sponsor. I hope you enjoy. Thank you for watching, and um, I'll see you in my next video. Whoa.